Hello, my name is Sergey Petrunia, I'm a MariaDB developer and this is a talk titled Improved Histograms in MariaDB 10.8. Uh, uh, before we talk about improvements to histograms, we'll need to have uh, a few slides with background information, what histograms are used for in MariaDB and what types of histograms are there. <coughs> histograms are used by the query optimizer. Let me illustrate that with a simple example. Suppose you've got a joint query where we scan orders and their items and we are looking for orders that uh, we'll place it in the specified date range and we are looking for items in these orders that uh, had a price greater than 1000. Uh, possible query plans uh, are suppose if there are a few if there were only a few orders placed in the given date range, we could start from orders, uh, find the orders in the given period, and then fetch their items and check the prices. Uh, alternatively, if there are only a few expensive items that were ever bought, we could start with items, find uh, expensive items that were ordered, and then check uh, the date of the order. The speed of these query plans, as well as other query plans, uh, depends on how many rows will match the condition. So in order to make a good choice, the optimizer needs to know how many rows will match, or in other words, know condition selectivity. Condition selectivity uh, is provided by histograms. Histograms are compact data structures that uh, can answer questions like what is the expected number of rows that will match this wear condition, or this, or that, or some other. Uh, now I need to <clears throat> make a note that MariaDB and MySQL query optimizers are unusual in the regard that uh, they are, they can use uh, indexes as really large histograms. Uh, however, uh, it's not always possible, it's not really possible to have an uh, in in index every time you need a histogram and it's expensive to use a histogram as a uh, really large index, so genuine histograms are needed as well. Uh, now for histogram. When we think about histogram, we think about something like this. Uh, this is so-called these histograms where the bucket, buckets are of the same width uh, and the uh, height of the bucket uh, uh, represents how many values are in the bucket. Uh, the bucket bounds are predefined. Uh, how accurate is this histogram? Well, when you get the range that you need an estimates for, uh, you can find the buckets that it has overlap with and that gives you the accuracy. Uh, the bigger the bucket is, the, the, the bigger the potential error is. Uh, the error can be large in, uh, if the data distribution is non-uniform. If uh, there are only a few outlier values in peripheral buckets, and most values are in a few very popular buckets, in pathological case they can be all in one really large bucket, uh, then your potential error is up to 100%. Uh, <clears throat> now this comes to this calls for question, what if densely populated regions uh, had more buckets so that the error was limited? And uh, this, there are such kind of histograms, they're called equi-hate histograms, uh, also known as hate balance. Here I sh on the picture it's shown how uh, regular or Equivive histograms is converted to equihate histograms. In equihate histograms, all buckets have the same number of rows, uh, so they have the same height, uh, but they uh, have different width. Here there is a really wide bucket on the left, which uh, spans big number of ranges, while the densely populated area on the right gets more buckets. Uh, uh, your accuracy is still limited by the maximum bucket size, but now the bucket size uh, is, uh, has number of rows over number of buckets rows, so now the possible error is limited. Another nice property of this kind of histogram is that it can be uh, collected by one, doing one pass over a sorted dataset. That's why they are widely used in databases. For example, Postgres, MySQL, MariaDB, IDB, Cockroach, they all use some variant of equi-hate histogram. Uh, summary so far, 
Query optimizer uses histograms to get condition selectivity estimates. Uh, this is uh, essential to get good query plans. Uh, uh, Equihate or hate balanced histograms are a good choice. They are they offer some nice accuracy guarantee. They are easy to collect, so they are widely used in databases. Uh, now for MariaDB. Uh, histograms in MariaDB were actually introduced way back in MariaDB 10.0. Then they were improved in MariaDB 10.4. They, MariaDB uses hate balanced histograms, uh, but unlike other databases, he, it uses a very compact format where it doesn't store value, but stores fraction. Let me elaborate. Uh, here again we see that hate balanced histograms, and here marketed blue is basically what MariaDB stores. It stores the minimum value, uh, the left bound, the maximum value. Uh, but for bucket balance between them, it stores uh, it stores fraction. A fraction is a number between zero and one, uh, representing how close the value is to minimum, uh, which is zero, and or to maximum, which is one. Uh, here, the first bucket is at 42% between minimum value and maximum value. The second bucket is at 60% and so forth. Uh, fractions uh, are smaller than values. Uh, they are stored as fixed point numbers. Uh, we have, there are two types of histograms in MariaDB. Single precision, where the fraction is one byte, uh, or double, where the fraction is two bytes. Uh, so this is a very compact representation of the histogram. Uh, in case you're wondering, you can use check out function decode histogram, which uh, dis build display of what histograms is collected. However, this, well, this compact format works well for uh, dense data types and range conditions, like column greater or greater than equal than constant. Uh, but uh, uses fraction uh, loses precision, and these kind of histograms were not good for uh, Condition for estimating conditions like column equals value or particularly very popular value. Uh, they perform poor data that, that, that has very popular values which are located next to the unpopular values. Uh, and for varchar columns, which particularly for varchar columns that have long values and the common prefix like URLs. Uh, let me illustrate that with an example. We had one of the test cases filed as bugs, uh, MDF 26.125. You can check it out. Uh, there, the test data set is a population of 1 million rows, uh, which has a column country. And uh, the population of country represents real country population, uh, according to uh, as if uh, each uh, person in the world has equal chance to be represented in this one million population. Uh, so let's check how that works. We set the histogram type double precision HB, which is actually the default. Uh, then we run analyze table to collect the histogram, and then we run analyze uh, for statements command, which is like explain. It prints us the filtered column, which is the estimated selectivity, what the optimizer thinks the selectivity would be. And it, it prints us error filtered column, which is an observed selectivity, what the selectivity actually is. So we see that for country equals China, we've got estimated selectivity of 22%. Uh, and this is what was quite close to the reality. But then uh, if a sort country is alphabetically, uh, next to China, there is Chile, which much smaller population of just 0.25%. Uh, but you see that the estimate was still 22% like in China, so here uh, the, very, the, the, the lack of precision of, the, of double package B histogram really beat us and we got an estimate that's way off. Uh, as a counterexample, let's try getting an estimate for Sweden, which doesn't have, uh, is not located next to a bigger country in the alphabetical list of countries. And there we see that the estimate is much better. Uh, so this called for improvement and uh, work started last year as a Google Summer of Code 2021 project by Michael Okoko. Uh, 
uh, he got we have got the basic uh, variant working in in scope of the GSOC. Uh, then I continued to work on it and improved it. Initially, I tried to push it into 10.7, uh, but uh, missed the deadline. Uh, so now it's getting uh, and I've got okay from QA to push it into 10 into 10 into MariaDB 10.8. Uh, so histograms in MariaDB ten, in MariaDB ten eight, uh, there is now new histogram type JSON HB, which is now the default. Uh, but you can also use or collect uh, single old old format histograms that they are also available. The histogram is almost height balanced. Uh, it uses JSON format for storage. Uh, it stores exact bucketed points, not fractions. Let's look at the default. Again, the same population, uh, and this is how the histogram looks like. There are some global parameters, and then there is a histogram HB array, which is an array of buckets, and each bucket has start member, which is a start value, size, which is a fraction of table rows in the bucket. Uh, it, 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 we need to specify it because it actually may vary because the histogram is not really equivalent. The primary reason is that the, for the sake of precision, uh, really popular values are put in their own buckets. So they don't share buckets with uh, unpopular values and we uh, do, don't mix up. The, optimize, the estimation code doesn't mix up uh, uh, popular values with unpopular ones. Uh, also, uh, each bucket has NDV, which is, stands for number of distinct values. And buckets with NDV equals one, like China here, are uh, the buckets that has just one value. So let's run uh, the, say, the, the test case from that MDF on JSON HB. We collect, we set histogram type JSON HB, although it's, we don't need to the default, we run analyze table, collect the histogram. And then we see that for China we got the same estimate as before, and but for Chile we got a much better estimate than before, uh, and also the estimate is better for Sweden. Uh, how does that compare to histograms in MySQL? Uh, histogram and MySQL are also stored in JSON. They support two data types: singleton or equihate, which is again is not all, not fully equihate. Uh, they have different syntax to collect the histogram, it's, uh, uh, and they have different collection algorithm and installation formulas. If you look at their histogram, it's not as readable as MariaDB. Uh, they have a, also have a set of global parameters and then have an array of buckets. Uh, each bucket has both minimum and maximum, and they are encoded in base64. Uh, you can decode and see the constant, uh, see the constants. Uh, then the third member is cumulative fraction, which is also needed to be specified because bucket may have slightly different sizes. Popular values are in their own bucket. Uh, they also have a rule that each value should go into only one bucket. So if bucket bound splits some value between two buckets, they would add, move the bucket bound so that the value is only in one bucket. Uh, this seems to improve precision, so I'm, uh, I, maybe perhaps we should also do this. Uh, the, it's not entirely clear to me yet. However, I was also able to construct cases where uh, the choice of bucket bounds is apparently very suboptimal. I filed them as bugs. The bug stands with, was verified. And they also, the fourth member that they are storing is the number of distinct values. Uh, let's try uh, our test case on MySQL. We do analyze table, this generates a histogram with 100 buckets by default. Uh, for China, it gets a good estimate. Uh, for Chile and for Sweden, however, we get an estimate of 0.0. If you look at explained format JSON, you will see that it estimates to find just one row with Chile and one row with Sweden. Uh, and increasing histogram memory size didn't uh, help with this at all. Mm -hmm. Well, setting number of buckets to be greater than number of countries did help because basically then the histogram was just singleton histogram with every country having, having its own bucket. But, uh, well, this is not how 
uh, histogram are supposed to be used because you can't always have number of buckets greater than number of values in the table. Let's try a few more conditions. Uh, again, here both my school and MariaDB are set to produce histogram with 100 buckets. And then I try various conditions. It, China and Chile is before. <coughs> uh, my score gives zero for Chile and for Sweden uh, uh, and for other uh, not countries with smaller population. The threshold seems to be around the Egypt, where it, it, which has a one percent of the world's population, uh, or sorry, half percent of the world's population. The estimate is twice as much. Uh, MariaDB also gives a similar estimate. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, then interest, another interesting observation is that uh, if you use equality, you get one estimate, while if you use uh, a range condition, which actually f fits only one country, the estimate in my, in, in my scale is way higher. And my ADB also has this property, but the difference is not the, as dramatic. Uh, then there is an interesting property that my ADB, so my scale keeps returning Estimate of 0.0, .0 this one row for non-existent value. MariaDB gives you non-zero estimate for non-existent value. So this difference, uh, I think this difference comes to different, say, assumptions that are used in the formulas that compute selectivity. MariaDB prefers to give uh, a, a little bit more pessimistic about how many rows will match. Uh, looking at my SQL code, I also saw they handle different data types differently. So, for comparison, we saw that there, there are plenty of difference. Analyze table, JSON representation, ways to pick bucket bounds, estimation formulas, so we get different estimates. In the end, uh, MariaDB can use actually the whole data set to compute the histogram over it or, or, or sample certain percent of rows. MySQL uh, has an amount of memory that you give it, and then it some decides how to use that to build histogram. Uh, but there are plenty of similarities. Both are JSON. Uh, both use hate balanced, well, almost hate balanced histograms with special treatment for very common values. Uh, both use Bernoulli sampling, where we uh, do sampling by reading all rows and discarding the rows we didn't pick. And this is expensive, and that's why neither MySQL nor MariaDB can have automatic update. Uh, my thinking at this moment is that uh, the JSON-HB histograms are good enough. You can also tell us, we will make a release soon, and please file back reports if you think that's not the case. But uh, they are good enough in the sense that uh, there are other things, uh, challenges in selectivity estimation <coughs> beyond the histograms. Uh, <coughs> uh, let's look how uh, and one of the one, the first of them is combining multiple conditions. Typically, the query has uh, multiple conditions, and uh, suppose even if you have per perfect histograms, how do you combine selectivity? Of this condition and this condition. Uh, if they are, you can assume independence uh, and then uh, multiply the selectivities. However, we see that this is a ship date around Christmas and nine of Christmas light. So if Christmas lights are offered to order it only on Christmas, then it's a, maybe there, perhaps it's a full overlap. Or maybe in, at least up here in the Northern Hemisphere, if swimsuits are never ordered around Christmas, so there is no overlap. And uh, not having information about this can cause huge misestimates. Uh, a proper solution would be multi-column statistics. Uh, when you have, uh, but uh, the, the problem with multi-column statistics is that they can overlap in all sorts of ways, where some part of conditions are covered by one statistic and another part by another. Uh, computing them is hard. You can't assume independence. Uh, for more details of it, you can check out my talk from MariaDB first last year. And MariaDB is already hitting this issue of using multi-column indexes as histograms. 
uh, see these MDFs and think it issues. Uh, we are working uh, there and I think that the uh, area that needs improvement the most is more careful use of histogram data. Thanks for your attention.